It's Wednesday, my dudes. And my Techno Collective is hosting a rave this Friday. So I have only two days and we need more lights. So I decided to rush build the LED pyramid. Let's go. Let's get this project started. I found these awesome LED diffusers, which will be the base of the project. These LED pixels are really bright. So bright in fact you cannot even look directly at them. They will look okay on camera, but they are just blinding in real life. So now let's have a look how they illuminate my room. This is the, like the darkness I have right now. Bam! But they are really bright. And that's like just for 40 pixels or so. So this is why you have to use diffusion. And this kind of diffusion is the best there is, because it makes it light so evenly. You cannot spot individual pixels, you just see these blurred colors, which look perfect. And remember guys, always use Diffusion. Next, let's make a fully detailed 3D model in Fusion 360. Stop! We don't have time for this. So I just put the three LED diffusers together and wanted to measure the dimensions I needed. Well, yeah, in the end I used Fusion 360 anyway to get the dimensions and angles just right, because after all it needs to fit in my tiny car. Then I proceeded to cutting and painting the wood panels and watched the paint dry. We got no time for this. This project needs to be done in less than two days. So let's go on. I used the time to drive to the local makerspace and hijack their printing farm to 3D print my pyramid parts all at once. But psst, you're only allowed to use one printer at the time. Except if you ask them nicely. After the print was done, the first day of my product build was finally over. The next day. I started with marking and cutting the wooden base pieces, then I glued them in place and added a temporary chipboard to hold it in place while drying. After this I glued these triangle shaped connectors to the wood, which yield a nice mounting angle for the LED diffusers. I also added these metal clips which came with the aluminium profile. Yes, of course, I could have made these triangle thingies from wood, but my 3D printing skills are far better than my woodwork, so... Phew, the base is done. It's time to add the top aluminium profile holder, for which I first added some glue to the base and then screwed the top wooden slat into place. For the top I hammered on the 3D printed diffusers holders, which had just enough wriggle room to fit tightly around the pole. Because I don't trust my friction mount so much, I also added these screws, so that it really can't move anymore. Time to add the metal clip thingies, which holds the aluminium profile. I clipped the diffuser tubes into place and the pyramid was slowly taking shape. I really liked how the top turned out. So it's time for the electronics. For the powering I used 1mm squared cable which will be enough to handle the 10 amps current peak of the 180 LEDs in total. I soldered the female LED connectors to the ESP and bridged the power lines to get one giant bus bar. Because the input voltage will be 12 volt, I gathered three adjustable voltage regulators and turned the voltage exactly to 5.12 volts on each of them. Pro tip, you can skip the step by just using a 12 volt based VS2815 LED. Then I proceeded to stack them over each other to get a nice 9 amp 5 volt power supply because each of these buck converters delivers up to 3 amps. And yes, this does not meet the required 10 amp peak of all the LEDs, but I will address this issue later. So update future me here, do not couple them like this. One of them gets really hot while the next one gets normal hot while the last one is cold and this will break things for sure. 
So, I changed my strategy and created one distribution wire, which has a barrel connector at the end and three separate step-down converters, each connected to one LED stripe. After this small change, it was time to plug it all in. Let's have a look at the performance at night. And because they are so awesome, I just built two of them. And you maybe ask yourself how they are controlled, and I use a WLED for this. Um, it's on the ESP32 installed, and the app is running on my smartphone. And so I can pick any effect I like. Whew. The build is finally over, and I just have a couple of hours left before the rave begins. So I will just pack them up and drive to the rave. But first, let me know what do you think about this project. I will start a new series called One Day Builds. So like this video here, a project that you can start in just one day or maybe just finish in, in one weekend if you have all the parts. Because the subwoofer video last time was just so much work to do. So please leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments down below. And I will see you at the next rave.